With this question, the questions will carry on. So we've actually got nine questions. There's two over here, then it goes all the way to number eight, and then on the last page we have number nine. Okay, so it says, Brian is planning a trip to Canada to go visit his uncle. His uncle is a professional tour guide and takes people to various places on trips. The tours take place in difficult terrain. The cost of the tours vary, and below you'll find all the information for a full week stay with sightseeing. Okay, so we've got option number one, and then we've got option number two. So option number one is a one-week backpacker. Now, backpackers are usually very cheap. I was in Thailand earlier this year, um, 2023, and I did a little bit of hotel and a little bit of backpacker, and backpackers is much cheaper. It's like where you sleep on bunk beds, um, but it's really fun. You meet a lot of people, and generally, it's a lot cheaper as well. So here you can see there's backpacker, and then here you see there is hotel. Brian's father, Dominique, will cover all of Brian's expenses for the trip, lucky guy, including flights and accommodation. Dominique will also give Brian 24,500 Rand for spending and additional expenses. Nice. Brian needs to fly from OR Tambo in Johannesburg to Toronto, which is in Canada. Pearson International Airport in Canada. Oh, it says there. Um, Brian found a direct flight costing 16000 including all taxes. According to the current exchange rate, there we've got the exchange rate. Okay, so we pretty much have this person, Brian, going on holiday, and that the, sounds like the dad's just going to pay for most of the stuff. Right. The first question says, identify the exchange rate between the two currencies. So we can just take this over here. So we can just say one Canadian dollar, one Canadian dollar, or it's actually not the, that's not the way we write it. You do it like that. And that's equal to 13 Rand 48. This question for two marks. Brian did some calculations to determine the cost for sightseeing. He states that on only his stay on the cheaper option, which is this one, will cost 161,760 Rand. What? Brian did some calculations to determine, oh, yeah, how long is this guy going for? Like two years. The tours take place in different terrain. The cost of the tours vary below. Um, geez, like, okay. So 12, so, so he says Brian did some calculations to determine the cost. He states that only his stay, so only his stay, um, will cost 161,000 proof by showing calculations. Okay, so it says here, one week backpacker sightseeing. Okay, so I think this is just the stay. They're not making it very clear. Oh, sorry, they did say um, for sightseeing, and then here it says sightseeing. Okay, so we're going to take this option because it's the cheaper one. They said that it's the cheaper option, and we're just going to convert that into Rand. So we're going to use this exchange rate. So we can just say 12,000 multiply by 13.48 and that'll give 161,760. Okay, so yeah, that's about, that's right. Proof by showing all calculations. Okay, so we got that, perfect. Just out of interest, um, when I was in Thailand in the beginning of this year, um, I was there for about two and a half months and I didn't really have a plan to come home. Like I was just gonna travel for as long as I wanted to. Um, but then the one day or the couple of days, I just started getting a little bit over it, I guess. And I started getting a little over having to find new places to sleep every night. And um, I was moving around a lot, going to all the different islands and things like that. And um, yeah, so I was there for about two and a half months. And it's quite nice. Like in Thailand, if you if you stay in a backpacker, you can stay for around 200 rand a night if you go very entry level backpacker, like 200, 200 rand a night. That's what you can go for. Um, so that's really cool. Of course, you can go stay in fancy hotels. But when you're young, I mean, I would I would highly advise stay in backpackers. I met so many nice people that I still talk to today. And um, whereas if you stay in a hotel, you don't really see many people. That's only when you're older one day and you've got a family and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, Thailand, really cool place. Um, I would recommend it. It's it's crazy. It's pretty wild. Um, the nightlife is insane. Um, if you ever go to Bangkok or to Phuket, just trust me, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, but let's carry on with this exam. 
So option one, option two, okay, Brian's father. Okay, so all of this is stuff we already know. So it says according to the exchange rate, we already know that too. This question says, determine how much money Brian's father will spend on his return flight and spending money. Round your final answer to the nearest rand. So it says, determine how much money in rand Brian's father will spend on his return flight. When they say return flight, um, they mean direct return flight, meaning that that's to and from. That means how much are you gonna to pay to go there and back? Okay, so it's there and back. So that's how much he's gonna pay for the flight. So it says how much we'll spend on his return, and spending money, how much did he say on spending money? He said that amount over there. So we'll just say 24,500 plus 16,879, and that'll give us a total of 41,379. 41379. And then they asked us to round off your final answer to the nearest hundred. So that would be four one four hundred. This one says, write down the cost of the return flight in words. The return flight, here we go. So that's gonna be 16,000, 16,879. 16,879. Oh, and then we should say rand, because it's in rand. Okay, write down the cost, we've done that. 1.1.5, 1 .1 uh, Brian plans to spend only 85% of his spending money while on his trip and save the rest. Ah, you sneaky guy, you ask your parents to give you spending money and then you don't spend all of it. <laughs> Determine how much money he will spend on the trip. Well, he's gonna spend 85%, so you're just gonna say 85% of uh, 24,500. Now, of means multiply, so we can change that to a multiply, and then 85%, you can either say 85% on your calculator, or you could say 0 0.85, or you could say 85 over 100. There's different ways of handling that part over there. Now, if you go calculate that, you're gonna end up with 20,825 rand. One of the cool things I did in Thailand, um, so in Thailand, obviously you've got the northern part and the southern part. Now the northern part is more like cultural, it's more relaxed. I rather went to the southern part where it's all the islands and um, yeah, it's all the island parts. And one of the islands, I went to three main islands. Well, I went to Phuket, I was in Bangkok. Um, but there were three islands that I went to. Maybe you've been to Thailand or you're gonna go to Thailand one day, but it was Koh Samui, Koh Tao, and Koh Pangan. Now, in Koh Tao, it's a world-famous island for uh, and, uh, scuba diving. So I went and did my scuba diving license there, and yeah, saw some crazy things, swam right next to whale sharks and things like that. But, um, what else was I gonna say? Yes, and then in Koh Phangan, there is a, you get something called a full moon party, um, but I actually chose not to go, because apparently it's just really, it's really overrated, apparently. Um, I went to the half moon party, it was like in the jungle, it's crazy. And what else can I say that's interesting? I know you have to study right now, but, hmm, what else, what else, what else? Oh, one of the cool things I did was just renting a scooter. So like, if you ever go traveling to those kinds of t uh, cities, I mean, obviously you need to know how to ride a scooter. Don't do it if you don't, like if you don't know how to ride it, but um, it was just so cool being able to get on a scooter whenever you want to, and then just go travel all the way around. It's so much cheaper than getting a taxi the whole time, uh, because obviously you're a foreigner or you're a tourist and they're just gonna rip you off. But if you have your own scooter, super cool. But I can tell you that getting a scooter in places like Bangkok, <laughs> there are so many people on scooters and it is pretty wild, like it's crazy. Um, yeah, lots of people on scooters all around you, so you gotta know what you're doing. Okay, I promise I'll try not to bring this up again. So. This next question says, uh, show how Brian's total savings adds up to that. Okay, so we know that um, the dad's giving him that amount. He's only gonna spend that amount over there. So surely, if we go and minus those two values, we'll see how much he will be able to save after going traveling. How nice is this father? Just gives the guy money and then he doesn't have to spend all of it and he can just keep the rest. I'll just keep telling my parents I'm going traveling. 
Meanwhile, I'll go stay at my friend's house. <laughs> so that's going to be, um, if you minus those two, it's going to be 3,675. 3,675. There we go. And then, of course, if they've got zero, zero, we'll just do it as well. Okay, this question says, write down the formula that is used to determine the probability. So they're just talking about probability in all types of scenarios. So you could say something like um, number of outcomes over total, let's write that a bit better, total number of outcomes. You could also say number of events over total number of events. Okay, that's all done, this question. Remember, there's still one more on the next page. There we go. There are six adult male tourists, nine adult female tourists, and two female babies on the tour. Determine the total number of possible outcomes. Um, okay, what do they mean? Like probability or what do they want? Okay, I guess they just want us to say the number of possible outcomes. For what though? I don't get it. But anyway, I think they just mean if we add these numbers together. So 6 plus 9 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Okay, yeah, I went and checked that out. That is the correct answer. That's a bit weird. Pretty random question. Next one. On his return to South Africa, Brian will invest the 3675. Remember, that's how much he's saving. So now he's going to invest his money at 15%. Ah, oh, that's quite a good investment. 15% simple interest per year for a period of one year. Oh, they're not even going to ask us to calculate it. Define the term interest. Boring. So interest is just the money that you earn when you invest. So it's the money earned on an investment. So for example, if you invest a thousand rand and after one year it's worth 1,200, then the interest, the, the amount of money that you earned is 200 rand, for example. 